Hello everyone, welcome to Analog IAS. In this new video on 3 minute series for prelims, we will be discussing about the evolution of Panchayati Raj system in India. Panchayati Raj system or the Panchayati Raj institutions are an institutions that transfers the representative democracy which are currently prevailing in India into a participative democracy by all the citizens of the country. It is a revolutionary concept to build democracy at the grassroots levels of the country. Recognizing the importance of the Panchayati Raj institutions, the constitution makers, the drafters of the constitution have prescribed Article 40 in the Directive Principles of State Policy, where the state shall take steps to organize the village panchayats and endow them with such powers and authority as may be necessary for them to function as a local self-government. Therefore, recognizing the principle of Article 40, the Government of India in the 1952 appointed a Balwantarai committee to devolve the powers to the local self-governments. And this committee was mainly formed to examine the working of the community development program that was launched in the year 1952 and also the National Extension Service Scheme of 1953. Now, let us look into some of the recommendations given by the Balwantarai Mehta committee. It recognized for the establishment of a three-tier Panchayati Raj system, that is, at the village level, and then at the intermediate level and then at the district level. The village level is called the Panchayat whereas at the intermediate level is called the Panchayat Samiti or the Mandal Parishad while at the district level is called the Zilla Parishad or the District Panchayat. It also seeks to provide village Panchayat should be constituted directly with elected representatives whereas the Panchayat Samiti that is at the intermediate level and the Zilla Parishad should be constituted with indirectly elected members. All the planning and developmental activities should be entrusted to these bodies. The Panchayat Samiti should be the executive body while the Zilla Parishad should be the advisory coordinating and the supervisory body. The important recommendation was that the district collector who is a permanent executive of the government should be the chairman of the Zilla Parishad and adequate resources are to be transferred to these bodies to help them discharge their functions and fulfill their respons responsibilities. The recommendations of this committee was accepted by the National Development Council in 1958 and it recommended states to adopt these principles and it left to the states to evolve their own patterns suitable to the local conditions. Therefore, each state had a three-tier system, two-tier system and some had four-tier system as well. This led to a lot of confusion and this is one of the backlog of this committee. And the, for the prelims perspective, Rajasthan was the first state which established a Panchayati Raj system in India and the district was Nagore. And this happened in the year 1959. Now let us solve this question. Consider the following statements regarding Balwantarai Mehta committee. The recommendations are mandatory for the states to adopt recommended two-tire system of government at the local level? The correct answer is D. None. As we have recently discussed, the recommendations are only advisory in nature and not mandatory for the states to adopt them. Hence, the states have adopted its two-tire, three-tire and sometimes four-tire system as well in different states. And it, did, it didn't rec uh, recommend three-tire system, two-tire system, rather it recommended a three-tire system that is at the village Panchayat Samiti and also the Zilla Parishad. Therefore, the correct answer is D. None. Thank you.